Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a healthy high protein oats chila for weight loss. An ideal meal for those with health issues like thyroid, PCOS, diabetes or for those who simply wants to eat healthy. This oats chila can be enjoyed as a meal for breakfast, lunch or for dinner. So let's get started with the recipe. To make high protein instant oats chila into a bowl, I'm adding in one third cup of horse gram, also known as mudira in Malayalam. Into this, I'm adding in some water and I'm allowing it to soak for about 30 minutes to one hour. Now, the reason why you need to soak grains and dals is to release the phytic acid content in them. Phytates are nutrient inhibitors which prevents nutrient absorption. So it's always ideal to soak them and then use them. Hose gram is also known as the super pulse of India. It helps to burn fat, protects you against kidney stones and gallbladder stones. It is also less expensive than other dals. It helps to keep you feel fuller and thus it helps in weight loss and fat burning. It is also ideal to include in your diet if you have hormonal issues like thyroid and PCOS. Okay, it's about 45 minutes uh, since the host gram has been soaking and along with this, I'm going to soak the oats as well. Into another bowl, I'm adding in half cup old fashioned rolled oats. I prefer to use old fashioned rolled oats because it is less processed and high in fiber. Into this I'm adding in some water and I'm soaking the rolled oats for about 10 to 15 minutes along with the hose gram. While the oats and dal are getting soaked, I'm getting ready the other ingredients. I have finely chopped half of an onion, one green chili, two sprigs of curry leaves for that extra iron and folate one medium sized carrot grated. I'll be using another two sprigs of curry leaves, four to five shallots, a small piece of ginger and one green chili when I'm grinding the dal. Okay, now the hose gram is nicely soaked. So I'm going to rinse it a couple of times and then I'm going to add it onto a strainer. Okay, now the hose gram is washed and rinsed and I've kept it on my strainer. Into my chutney grinder, I'm adding in the hose gram. For those who are new to hose gram, this is one of the most protein rich lentil found on the planet. It is high in iron, calcium and zinc. In fact, hose gram has the highest calcium content among pulses and hence it is one of the richest vegetarian source of protein. Into this, I am adding in a small piece of ginger. I am roughly slicing the ginger and adding in. For some extra iron folate and antioxidants, I'm adding in about four to five shallots. A small green chili, if you're using large green chili, you may need to use only half of it. For some extra iron and folate, I'm adding in two sprigs of garden fresh organic curry leaves. Pink Himalayan salt as needed. One third teaspoon turmeric powder. Today I'm using Wygon turmeric, which has high curcumin content. Five to six whole black pepper corns. Black pepper helps in better assimilation of turmeric. So when you're using turmeric, make sure you're using at least a fat pinch of black pepper powder. I'm adding in a couple of tablespoon of water. And I'm going to grind this to a fine paste. Okay, now the ingredients are nicely ground. So I'm going to keep this aside. 15 minutes later, the oats are nicely soaked. You can see that it is mashing very easily between my fingers and that shows it is perfectly soaked. So I'm going to add this into a strainer and rinse it under running water. Add the strained and rinsed oats into a bowl. Into this I'm adding in the ground hose gram. The hose gram will make this oats chila high protein. Next I'm adding in the grated carrot, finely chopped curry leaves. This is two sprigs of curry leaves one finely chopped green chili and half of an onion finely chopped. Half teaspoon jeera, also known as cumin seeds. One fourth teaspoon ajwain. Before adding ajwain, lightly crush and add so that the flavors are released. Ajwain and jeera not only gives an amazing flavor, but they also help with digestion. So try not to skip it. And with my hand, I'm mixing all this really well. Since the oats are soaked, it will get easily blended along with the rest of the ingredients. Just make sure that uh, it is nicely mixed. 
For those who have health issues like diabetes, this is a great meal which you can enjoy any time of the day. Again, the best thing about this batter is that you can make ahead this and store in the refrigerator. So this is also an ideal way to meal prep. You may have noticed that I did not add any extra water. The consistency of the batter should be like this. You should be able to spread it. It should neither be too thick nor too thin, but you should be able to spread it. I have already added salt while grinding the host gram. If you feel you need more salt, you can add in at this stage. To make the chila, I'm heating my cast iron taba and I've reduced the flame to the lowest. And then I'm greasing it with wood pressed gingerly oil also known as sesame oil and onto the tawa I'm placing a handful of the high protein oats chila mix and I'm lightly pressing it out with my fingers I'm pressing it out with the wet fingers drizzle in one teaspoon wood pressed sesame oil on the sides and on the insides and cover and allow the chila to get cooked. Two minutes later, open the lid, carefully flip it over. Also make sure that you are using a well seasoned cast iron tawa so that the chila does not get stick to the tawa. Another two minutes later, let's flip it over and the oats chila is nicely cooked. Once done, I'm transferring it to a plate. Repeat the same thing with the rest of the batter. Leftover batter can be stored in the refrigerator and it will stay good for a couple of days. You can also use a spoon to spread it out. Lightly wet the spoon and then use it to spread it out. You can enjoy this high protein chila with any homemade pickle of your choice or any side dish of your choice. And once it has cooled down, this chila will stay soft, hence it is ideal to carry as a lunchbox meal. So guys, do try this healthy high protein oats chila recipe and uh, let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.